What's up, Helix users? Steve Stralachi here. Today, I wanted to talk about the most game-changing thing that has happened to the Helix since I've owned it, and that is the 2.9 update and the addition of the Command Center HX snapshots. Why is this such an amazing revelation? Um, I feel like this has not been talked about or anything. It was in the notes for the update and I was reading it and I was like, this sounds actually awesome. Really what this is, it basically takes your pedal board mode and it unlocks it. It's like a cheat code. Literally unlocks it to do whatever you want it to do. And what do I mean by that? You can now put in your pedal board mode, set it to 10 foot switches. You can now set those 10 to anything, literally anything. It can be a, a MIDI hotkey, it can be your looper, it can be a preset, it could be a snapshot, or it could be a regular stomp, or it could be a parameter control. Anything you want within one preset. It's, it's probably the most amazing thing that's happened for me personally in the Helix. For a gigging musician, this is an absolute dream. I'm going to do most of this video with the Helix on the screen, so you'll hear me talking over it. I want you to go to Custom Tone right now. I have two templates for you to follow along because this is, can be a little confusing, but I'm gonna make a visual guide for you to follow right along. Um, the first one's called HX Snapshot. The second one is HX Snapshot 2, self-explanatory. You need to save those next to each other. So for example, in my case, I have 7D, set list seven, letter D, or no, <clears throat> bank seven, letter D, is HX Snapshot. I'm now going to go 8A is going to be Snapshot 2. So just make sure that in your HX edit, you see HX Snapshot on top and HX Snapshot 2 underneath, and you'll be able to follow along with this video exactly as I did it. So what you're gonna see, I'll put up a picture of the board here. What you're gonna see in this is a totally different setup than you're normally used to seeing. What you have here is a snapshot mode, a stomp box mode, and a preset all in one preset. It's limitless what you could do with this. So I have three snapshots set up and you'll notice they're not in a place where snapshots can normally go. Normally snapshots are limited to the the one through eight that you see with the bank switch on the side. But I have snapshots all the way to the left and then I have a preset button up and then the rest are stumps. So I basically have three snapshot, one preset and six stomp box mode. Try saying that five times fast. So what these are gonna allow me to do, the three snapshots are just straightforward. For those of you not familiar with snapshots yet, Snapshots are basically presets within a preset, is how I like to think of them. You have your perfect tone in your head for a specific part of a song, but you have to change your amp settings, you have to change your pedal settings, turn things on, turn things off. You can do that with one, pres one press of a button with your snapshots and get it all done like that instead of having to press you know, six pedals at a time. Everything is done for you at once. So I have three snapshots. They go from fuzzy, clean, to edge of breakup. Nothing fancy, I mean, the preset might sound okay, I kind of just threw this together to get this demonstration together of what the HX snapshots can do. I'm going to be reworking my touring presets as I get more into this, but this is just a, a quick example of what this thing can do. I really don't even need to be playing for this, so this is just gonna be a walkthrough of a setup. So if you've been following along, let's go to HX snapshot two, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this through HX edit, so let's go. So to get to the stomp mode, we're in HX Snapshot 2, the blank one. You have no command center whatsoever yet. So pull it up. You should see on your Helix, whatever mode you're in, click the mode button, top right. You'll see mode, hold to edit. Tap that button and it'll take you to the pedal board mode. You should see the six stomp boxes and that's it, nothing else. So those are self-explanatory. You probably know how to set those up as it is. So let's go to command center and let's set this up. I have these snapshots already set up. Um, just like you would set up normal snapshots, you should be familiar with those by now. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, so now the trick is going to be getting these to their own individual foot switches. And we're also going to get that preset bank up into its own foot switch. So we go to Window, Command Center, or you can hit Control Shift M that takes you to this menu. So these are your 10 foot switches. Okay, so you see all the options that you have here. 
I want to set this first foot switch to be my snapshot fuzzy. I'm gonna go over here to your command where it says none. You have all the options here that you can set this to do. It could literally do all of these in any combination that you want. I'm gonna select snapshot. And now behavior, press release. So press release is just tap on, tap off. Pretty normal stuff. Press hold, you don't really need to do that. So now this is going to tell you what to do, what happened. It's going to tell the Helix what to do when you press on this button. So to press on this button, I want it just go, to go to snapshot one. And now when you release the button, this is something cool too that you could do. You can set this to be next, previous, or a different snapshot where, so for example, you want this set to none for the most part. I would think most of you are gonna set this to none, but here's a little something that you guys can do. It can be momentary where you press it and it turns one snapshot on and then you release it and a different snapshot turns on. It's pretty cool. I'm not gonna do that though because I really don't see that as useful in this context. So I'm gonna set the release to none. So it's just gonna be turn it on. Straightforward, done. Now look at your pedal board mode and you should see fuzzy snapshot one top left corner. If you don't see that, rewind it and uh, follow those steps. Now we wanna get to snapshot two, right? So we're gonna window, command center. What was this one? This one was edge of breakup, right? So we click on the foot switch we want and you'll see up here, it says it has your snapshots up here. Um, I don't think that that makes a difference for what we're doing though. So let's leave that at fuzzy. Two, all right? I'm gonna go to your command here, scroll down, HX snapshot behavior, press release. On the press, we want it to take us to snapshot two. And on release, we want none. And let's see what happens. Done. Take a look at snapshot two, you'll now see clean. I definitely screwed that up. They're definitely in different spots. Okay, so let's, you know, let's do this live, fine. I'm gonna change this because uh, it was supposed to be, if we're getting exact, I still want this to be snapshot, but instead I wanted to go to snapshot three. Check it out, edge of breakup, snapshot number three, there it is, wherever you want it to be. Okay, let's do one more. And you don't need to click done and get out of command center, I'm just showing you guys how to do that. So let's do this one. Now this is gonna be clean. So we select the foot switch, go to your command, scroll down to HX snapshot, behavior press release, fine. When you press it, you want it to go to, which, oh, whoa, don't wanna do that. Which one is clean? There we go, that's a useful for that. Clean, snapshot two, done. So now take, take a look at your floor unit. You should see these three on the floor. And now we wanna set a preset bank for the last one. So we're gonna go window, command center. This one is our last available foot switch, so we're gonna to go to here, command. Now for here, I'm gonna select HX preset instead of HX snapshot because I want it to change a preset. And you're gonna see next. So instead of next, I'm going to switch this to previous. Hit done, take a look at your board. You'll now see preset down. So if you want to save this and keep this as it is, you could hit save, leave it alone, and when you hit preset down, it'll take you back into the first one where everything is saved as well. But for my case, I'm going to hit preset down, and boom, it just took me to HX snapshot, the first one. And now, if you save it, you'll be able to toggle back and forth with these. Just keep hitting the preset button, and it'll switch these back and forth. I'm keeping it blank for the template, so now, I can hit preset up, and I'm back to snapshot two with none of the stuff we just did saved. Hope that helps you guys. Um, leave questions as we go below. If you have any problems, just rewind it, watch it again, and hopefully you'll get this under your fingers before you know it. So that's how you do it with HX Edit. Now I wanna take you over to the Helix and do it on the actual unit. It's a lot easier in, in HX Edit. It's not too difficult on the floor, but you'll see what I mean. Let's go. All right, so now we're over at the Helix and hopefully you guys have followed along so far with the HX Edit version. So this is the full version right now. We haven't paged down to um, the blank one yet. So 
right now what you're seeing is the snapshot mode. Normally I would be in eight, eight snapshot mode almost all the time. So if this is what yours looks like, whatever mode you're set to, here's your mode button. So we're going to hit this first and it takes you into the pedal board mode where everything is going to be activated and able to be set to something. So this one's the complete one. You'll see I have the three snapshots. I have the preset up and then these are just regular stomps, nothing fancy, just straight ahead stuff. So I can set these all to do their own thing. Turn pedals on and off. This is my speed with my Leslie, all that good stuff. So I'm going to hit this preset up and it's going to take us to HX snapshot two. same preset, just without any of the, uh, snap, uh, the snapshot HX snapshot commands. So how do we go from here? Again, if you haven't yet, download these off Custom Tone and follow along with me. We are going to first click our little hamburger guy up there. This third one in from the left, this says Command Center. I don't know if you could see that totally with the, with the phone camera here. And you see that same exact menu that we saw in HX Edit. Right now, foot switch 8 is selected. So I'm going to toggle over to foot switch 1 right here and this was fuzzy i believe so your command you're going to scroll the same way we did on that page up and down hx snapshot and each of these unlocks its own menu so that's kind of cool so if you want to do midi control changes and all this stuff those are all your little menus there for whatever you might need for right now we're going to go with hx snapshot so now the second one is the behavior, just like we saw before. We want this to be press release, not press hold. Press release. And what's it going to do when we press it? We want this to go to fuzzy. It says it right there for you, nice and easy. Release, none, right? Remember that? That's it. It's that easy. We're going to scroll down. Okay, now we get to practice this a couple of times. Foot switch seven. What are we doing first? Oh yeah, commands. Send that to HX snapshot, press release. What happens when we press it? We want it to go to clean. And there it is. You see it show up right away. And that's literally it. This actually might be easier on the unit than it is in HX edit. Foot switch two, right? Make sure that you have that foot switch two selected. Command, HX snapshot, press release. What happens when we press it? We want it to go to edge of breakup. And that's it. Final one. Huh, I was hoping if you pressed it, it might go to it. How about that? Nope. Okay. So I just toggled down. Foot switch eight's now highlighted. This one right here. My command now is going to be HX preset. Remember? HX preset. And what do you want to do when you press it? Next, right? You can actually select any preset you want here. Right? You could cycle through every preset that you have and have this send directly to it, which is really cool. But for the sake of simplicity, if you have a set list that you want to use that with, great. But for right now, we're just going to go to next. Actually, no, no we're going to go to previous. Right? Previous. So it takes us back to the other one. Now this is preset down. Home, and you're done. That's literally it. It's that easy. And now we have all our snapshots set up. And now we're going to preset down back to the first one where you see exactly the same thing. So now if you didn't save that as you were going and you want to practice it a little bit more, rewind the video and just hit this preset up and it'll take you back to HX snapshot two where nothing was saved. So you can practice this over again. Again, download these templates off HX, of, <laughs> download these templates off of custom tone and follow along with me. All right, so that's it. It's literally that easy. I was actually surprised. I forgot how easy it was to actually do this on the Helix. It's almost easier to do it on the unit than it is in HX Edit. But you have both of those options available to you. Again, download those off Custom Tone and follow along with me so that you can really get this down. Please, as always, ask questions below. I love talking about this stuff, so I'll get right back to you. If you're new here, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, give me some thumbs up and comments. Let me know if this helped you guys out. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.